Hello everybody and welcome back to Lost Souls. So in this episode I was going to make an experience sludgy for I wasn't and I was going to go off to the toilet first. So I would like to make that experience sludgy fire first of all. So let's start with that one. And the second thing I'm going to show you is a, is a tip by Sir Harry. He helps me out a lot and he got me yeah, a really good one. So what on to this one here? Why my seeds were popping out. So one experience solidifier. So there wasn't I did find the solidified experience and it is a mob drop. So um it he was in one of the chests. I would also like to look at this one too. It's an assembler. So we've got a litherite crystal, we can make this as actually a quest. So we just need some lime and some green dye. I think we can do both of those fairly easily actually. I think they're we can still use the dye essence, oh, but of course I've moved all the dye essence to the other place. As you can see, everything is empty. <laughs> in fact, I think everything is empty now. So anything that comes in goes straight out into this chest here and then gets sent away. So what I can do, of course, is to turn it off. But uh, being how I'm actually doing it, I'm doing it from this side, aren't I? So... Let's just turn it off for the time being. See if we get some diacence while we're doing the other bits and pieces. I need my wrench. Like that. So there should be nothing coming into here. These are just for basically for the um, for the witch's hats and stuff like that. And I think witch's hats. Did I pick the wrong one? Yeah. Oh, I've actually got enough witches hats now. I've got all six of them. Great. I don't want to do that. Let's do that. Because <laughs> that's actually a very good one to do anyway. And I've also been moving some stuff around. And this I didn't show you either. So, you know, chunks of flesh from when, you, when you're in the in the nether and you're bashing stuff up. And you, sometimes it comes a, a flesh type you buy them. All you need to do with this is stick it in here like this. Uh, flunks of flesh. I think they got the uses of that one. Uh... Ah, it's resonator. I'll put it in the resonator. I haven't. I know I haven't shown you this before. I can get leather and very fast too. That's a a use for that stuff that has got no other uses as far as I can see. I'll put that in there. My chest is a bit full. Well, that's not a surprise, is it? My inventory management's appalling. So let's have a look at that. That's, it was one of these basically. So we, let's take this out of here and then put the recipe for that one on here. Uh, so we're missing two bottles, oh, of course, glass bottles and spider eye. I might have kept some about. Oh, spider eye, oh, yes, I got them in here. Look, let's do it on this, let's do it on this table then. So that'll give the, us the sixth of these witch charm fragments. So the uses of that, we should be able to do this. We need one piece of string and one piece of leather. Well, <laughs> leather's no problem. <laughs> Control click that off as I remember every once in a while to actually remember that one. We've got some string here, no problem. So let's uh, finish that one off. Uses of that one and do this one. So now we have a witch charm. So witches can't see you with this, fantastic. So let's put that into our belt. Like that. Oh, well, you got most of the charms now, which is pretty good. Um, I think there's one or two still missing slimes, but I haven't seen a single slime in the, the whole of the game so far. Now this is... Oh, I want to put this back in my ball slot, don't I? So what that's, that's Harry said is my seeds are popping out because they've not got enough light. So I put down a torch, and sure enough, you're completely right, they're not actually popping out anymore. Fantastic. Thank you very much for that piece of information because it's a really good one and I didn't know it and I was surprised because when I checked back I had a wall here and no torch on it and it wasn't they weren't popping out in the previous version so I don't quite know what's changed but uh, anyway they're growing now and they're not popping out which is brilliant and I that is really good and thank you very much again for that one so we've got some uh, somehow I've got some water seed to know but don't ask me why put those up there like that so we should be getting Inferium at a reasonably good rate. And that'll be coming across, coming into here. 
and feeding up these. Let's go have a quick look at this as well while we're, while we're here and see how things are progressing. I think I put down another tree as well. I found a fir tree in somewhere or other and thought I'd do that one. Um, here. So, got two and, two and a bit stacks of that and that's, ah, that's coming up. It's filling up slowly. I'm not playing too much between episodes, so because that's the purpose of the of the game in a way. So now the experience solidifier. So we need to put that behind this machine here, I guess. So somehow let's put it down here. I guess it uses power, but I'm not 100% sure. So let's just put it down and have a look. Okay. So experience solidify goes in and I, I would imagine we could actually take stuff out. So I have got, um, yeah, let's take the ender chest from here and put it on the back and see if we actually can, if it's working. I could take this tank, of course. But if I take this ender chest here, it should fill up fairly quickly. So this ender tank, did I say chest? Still jumping over things. Well, I suppose that's just as good as falling into things, isn't it? Now, where do I want to put this? Let's put it down here. Well, I can put it on top of it, can't I? If I think about this correctly. I'll wait for some. This shouldn't take too long before it actually starts to get XP into it. As soon as a mob gets ground in the in one of the spawners, we should get XP. I think. Anyway, we'll see. I guess we'll wait for a bit. Well, I won't do it now. I'm going to do something else now. I want to make those dies, don't I? Right, okay. That's why I was coming back here. And have we got any more dies? Since so far, we've got 20. See, these are doing fairly well. As long as I've got the die seed in there, of course, that will help. Probably haven't got the die seed in in one of these things in a cloche anymore. I've got to build some more garden cloches. I will do that between episodes, though. So. Uh, let's have a look. Die seed. I do seem to remember taking it out. It must be this one. Mystical flowers. No, it's something that does the same sort of behaviour, I think. Where is it? I wonder if I have got it planted. Uranium says I see. See, I've taken all of these out. Ah, dice seeds. Oh, yes, I've got 28. Right, I'll put one of these into one. In fact, yeah, one will do. Let's see what we've got in here that I'm not using too much or I've got plenty of. Luminum, probably aluminum will take we'll take those out and put those into there for the time being. I just put these aluminum seeds. Woo! Just back into here, I guess. I don't think this growth this tier three has been as fast as I would have expected it to be. Never mind. So we should be getting di some dicrosif out now. I can do it, of course, using um, flowers, mystical petals, which might be just as good a way of doing it as any. I've only got one. Let's do that, because that's probably going to be faster. So we need lime and green. So let's go and get that. They should be in, not that chest, this chest here. So lime petals, I'll just take one. And green petals, we'll take one of those. I've got an unlit torch, which is absolutely useless. So I'm going to check that straight in the in the bin here oh and I have managed to upgrade this to luck 3 and what I did <laughs> is I discovered it I remembered it actually got one modifier free so I just put some lapis on it and it allowed me to put lapis on till it was luck 3 so that's how I did that in the end so I didn't find a way of doing it any other way so um, ah oh, of course bone meal oh yes I got bone meal because I've not moved everything across yet Bone meal should be in one of these. 
Here we go. Bone meal, bone meal. I'm sure I've got bone meal. If not, I have a bit of a problem. No, I don't. I've got plenty of bones. Look at that. Didn't take too long before that those bones came into place, did it? Well, let's take six. Right. Okay, so the progress for this is fairly straightforward. I won't bother doing anything expensive with these. I'll just simply put them on like that and craft them like that. I will put... Oh, I do need the shears. And I need the two petals. You tell me how... Oh, can eat, can I? Okay. Um, just right click that with that and you get these two large plants. Just harvest them with shears. Craft them and self-craft them. Get four of each. And we'll do that a couple of times. Don't need that many, do we? Because we've got plenty of petals. In fact, I think... We'll do it another couple of times for each of these seeds or each of these petals I mean I'll do it like this we can do them both together can we doesn't seem to be mending mind you my, my shears so that's a bit of a shame right so I should have plenty of each of those now so I should have 16 of these and I should have 16, not that one. That's a tree I found in the in the Twilight Forest. So I don't know how it got to me, but there we are. So let's go and pulverize these up. We should have the, the petals we need for the stuff for the for the colours. I'm actually not sure why he removed the recipes for those other stuff. Oh, what do I want? Uh, pestle and mortar, don't I? This one. Let's do it on here. So now we should be able to make litherite. How many can we make? Eight. Thirty-two. Let's do that. Well, now we're going to do that. And that should complete a quest. I hope it does. Maybe not. Maybe we have to make the assembler. So let's have a look at that. I think there were two things to the quest. So we can do one assembler like this. And that completed the quest litherite. Which is actually a good one because we need to... Well, don't need to. But... The environmental tech stuff is great. It just needs a lot of power, that's all. So let's have a look at the quests. Oh, there's quite a few quests I've actually completed. And as soon as we've done that, we'll trundle off to this Twilight Forest and see if we can just um, sort out the Naga. Maybe the Ram. Getting food, not bothering with that one too much. I should finish that quest line off. This Soul Cage we completed. Let's, cl let's claim that quest and go back again. Probably can make an unbuild. I don't really need a second one. Extra additions. We haven't done any more than that yet. So. So we've got a Naga or a questing ram to do. See so what I'm working on here is the end portal. That's why I'm working on the other stuff. Thermal foundations. Nothing there. Change environmental. So we've now completed this quest. So we can claim our loot chest. And then that opens up these other... So, leatherite panels, leatherite blocks. I should probably want the earth. Is that just one? That'll be easy. I can do that. I think we'll do that before we go away. RF tools. So basically, that's opening up all of these. Um, well, nanobots, solar arrays, really, really good. That's a way, good way of power. A lunar array. Oh, okay, didn't know about that one. Tier one void miner, tier one resource miner, which is pretty good. We need to go. Ionite and some more stuff. Actually, that's new. Haven't seen that before. Oh, we've completely yeah, we've done that one. We've done magical world. I'd like to go and do the next one of those, but we'll do that in another episode, possibly. And overpowered, which I haven't claimed this one for yet. Let's claim that. The quest rewards are a bit unimaginative. I must be honest with you, <laughs> considering the pack is really quite creative. This but the quest rewards are not to create a rubbish ones so we'll look cakes i think i've got cakes in here there's five cakes weren't there and the ordinary cake oh it doesn't stack ha ah. 
Well, how about that then? I'll tell you what we'll do. Let's put the ordinary cake down. I think we can just put it down, can't we? Oh. I wonder if we can put it down on this. Yes, we can. Then we can always right click it when we're hungry. So, let's have a look at the other quest. So, we've got two more chests to open up. Oh, okay, that's not too bad. <laughs> Actually, that would have been a really nice reward right at the very beginning of the game. But six absorption hoppers is pretty good. And I've got the thin. They're probably in this one, are they? Yes, they are. I've got thin ones there, and I've got some transfer pipes in there too, which is good. And then the last of these loot chests for t today, I guess, is some more bouncy plates or random things, uh, random things. And I don't know what those do, I must be honest. Also. Uh, bouncy plates, I think I've got the, one of these chests here, look, 24 now. I have to look at what those do, because they're probably interesting. In fact, while we're doing that, I might as well turn this back on again. Um, it works fairly fast, doesn't it? We get all sorts of bits and pieces coming in quite quickly. As you can see, I've already got 16 colour dyes. So let's trundle off now. Just clear the inventory a little bit more. I'll put that leather right. Oh, I could have done the leatherite block, couldn't I? And I bet, yeah, that's just... Uh, just turn the table around. It's only two, isn't it, in this table? Um, let's just check it. I just got it right, yes, I did. <laughs> Very disturbing when it's upside down. I guess a leatherite block is no, it's not like that. Okay, let's have a look at uses of this. It's used in all sorts of bits and pieces. Ah, runic altar Britannia. <laughs> okay. Oh, that's interesting. So that's why we have to do Britannia. Okay, good. Okay. I will leave that. We're going to do some off to do some Britannia another time, but there is something else that we could do. And I've forgotten about it. It was a, it was a tip from um, Malacqua and it's basically that we can get an infinite water source using... I probably can't do it here actually, let's have a look. This one. Purple blocks, glass blocks and blue slime. I haven't got anything in there. Where did I put all those purple blocks? I think I need four purple blocks. We've got six of these chorus fruit. We got so we can get chorus fruit anyway. If I didn't turn it off, all right. Let's let's trundle off to the t uh, toilet forest. We can do that infinite woods, so, which will help with the um, the rest of it's dead easy. Uh, what am I doing? I'm going too far, aren't I? I'll just get some more XP before we go. Overworld base. So you see this is all sort of filled up here and I've still forgotten to get that. that and I've put some diamonds and some emeralds in the top there because that's always good to do that. And ingots and stuff like that are pretty good to do it that way. But we should do the iron in that way as well because that's another one that you need, need quite a lot. And gold maybe. Actually gold and uh, actually would be quite a good one wouldn't it? Because at the moment I've got, uh, as you can see, I've got a, a void. And I don't need any more than 32,000 nuggets of gold. So that's why they're being voided off. So let's trundle off to the Twilight Forest. And see if we can find an Naga. What have we got this time while well, it's whisking us off to the Twilight Forest? So I have got portal marked, good. And I think we have to go south. Let's go south and see if we can find it. Oh, well, <laughs> this is a Naga, isn't it, in here? And there he is. And he's got a little spawner. So what I need to do now is presumably I can attack him, but I think we have to, maybe I have to do it by hand. I don't know where I can attack him with this. doesn't look like I can attack him like this. 
and I'm not sure if I have to attack his head or his tail. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my food out. Our food's already in the right place. And let's go down. Now I'm not. Uh, uh, I'm not sure what I have to attack here. It's breaking up stuff, isn't it? Naga. He keeps running away. <laughs> Where's he gone to now? Let's go and find him. Ah, oh, here. Now, I think I have to get in from behind. But maybe I'd be better off with my katana, because it's faster. Hmm, I'm still not sure what I have to attack, whether I have to attack his tail or his head. I'll tell you what, I might have to look it up. <laughs> Ah, now he's attacking me now. How much damage has he done? I'll tell you what we'll do. Let's use the katana. Oh, I got him. That's her head did work. Okay, good. Yep, it's gone down with one block. And of course, with the um, the katana, uh huh. It also steals his health, which is good. It's got stuck good. He disappeared too. Oh, there. Ha! Huh. Get him with it. Because you have these. It's a nice blood effect, which I don't like at all. <laughs> oh, I can use it. Okay, I just have to aim for his head. That'll make life a bit easier, won't it? Oh, I've got him. Goal reached, and I've got loads of stuff in it. Let's get rid of what I've got in here. Oh, four hearts, that's pretty good. A Naga trophy, Naga scales, and bloodstained. Now, is do quest completed the Naga? So, the next one we've got to do while this blood disappears slowly, there was a spawner in here. Did he, does, does that spawner disappear when he spawns? Ah, questing ram. Are these questing rams? No, it's just a big horn sheep. Now, the questing ram. Where do we find the questing ram? Let's go and see if we can find a questing ram. Now, which direction am I going? Mushroom route. I think we should try keep going south. Well, that's north. Now we've got this Naga bit, we actually can attack if we want to. Oh, I probably don't want to go in there for the time being. He disappeared off. Um, now the big horn sheep is, or the ram is in somewhere special, isn't it? Since we've not been over here before, let's have a quick look around. Ah, these places are actually quite interesting. Un underneath here. If I go underneath here like this. And at the bottom of here we'll find some chests. 
Yeah, I've got a bit of a... Now, where is it? Uh -huh. <laughs> Tell you what, I'll have to do to break it a bit here. Come on, break. There we go. And then we get a chest. And the chest is, in fact... Oh, that's where I got that thing from. Okay, good. <laughs> I presume that's acid rain that's doing that to me. Let's remove some stuff and let's see what else we can get from here. And then get out of here. Doesn't seem to be doing too much harm. Ah, a bit full in inventory side. Two more spaces. Ah, oh, that's not good. Tell you what, don't need don't need any more of that. Let's get out of here. Move fast, can't we? When we're doing that. Now what? Something different. Black stuff. Well, I can see wolves and... Big horn sheep, I guess. Yep. And the other nasty stuff. What in the earth are we going to find in here? It's quite a large area. Oh, I haven't looked for the what's this stuff? Krillium or I think we need, probably need this actually. Oh, we got slowness, have we? Okay, <laughs> it would help if I actually. Oh, yeah, great. <laughs> is it unbreakable, <laughs> or is it just the server running slow? I guess the server's running slow. Let's go down here. Let's go towards the portal, which will be over here, I guess. What I want to do is find some live root. Because my liquor gave me another tip about that. And he says, oh, have I got to another area? Because I'm getting the green stuff. Okay, we're not interested in abyssal craft to here, I don't think. What do we got down here? Uh, pigs. Lie, those are dead roots. The live roots are green. Well, similar but green. And I did actually mark some. What is this stuff here? I'd like to get out of this black bit. It's a bit irritating. What have I got? Hunger. Okay, fine. Don't care about hunger. Oh, nice to be out of there. So what am I looking for? Is some more holes like the one we just found. slow. What is it in here that's making the server slow? I saw it waiting for server message. Um, I think we need the Naga Trophy, which is this one. If I'm not mistaken, we need not that one for the for the Naga when we actually... Unless I moved it out, so let's double check that again. No. Probably walking past things as I'm going along here anyway. I'm 
I think the big ram is another place, isn't it? A bit... Oh, we got this stupid thing over here. It's an Abyssal craft mob. Oops. Oh, slime! <laughs> I've seen one of you before, gosh. Well, at least they're not magical slimes. Good for slimes. Good for slime balls. Probably can't collect any slime balls at the moment, though. Oh, one of them's magical. My inventory is so dreadful at the moment. Let's get rid of that, that. Oh, slime chunks. But they could see me, couldn't they? So that was... I don't... Oh, of course I don't have a charm for those yet. That's interesting. That one dropped green ones. Oh, we got both. Oh, and I'm hungry. That's no problem. We can sort that out. There's a lot of mobs just here. Where are they? I'm looking on the map, on the mini map here. There seem to be a lot. This must be a slime chunk here. But they're actually behind me, aren't they? These a large number of mobs. Oh. Because I happen to just get up. So what did I kill there? That wasn't so good. Probably could take these, get rid of those. And pelts. You end up with so much stuff. Let's get rid of these hearts, because they came from... The Naga, wasn't it? So what are all these mobs over here? A lot. Uh, of course, they're coming out of the... Um, Oh, what's this one? Another interesting mob. Oh, slimes. Ah, oh, yes, of course, we've, we've had this one before. I'll probably get out of here. <laughs> probably not much fun fighting these mobs anyway. I know I'll just guess we're on one of these things. Ah, I'm concentrating. I'll have to sort of figure me, because I can just fly away, of course. I don't think these guys drop anything, do they? Let's get them with this one. That's a good way of getting my health back, as you can see. fairly quickly. That's probably the episode group was. So what's this done here? Slogoth ooze. <laughs> I wonder if that's useful. Okay. Well, that's an interesting tree. Orange wood and white petals. What is it? Mango leaves. Okay. Going down here, Let's see if I can find some live roots. We got that wolves, okay. And now we come back into the rainy bit, which I don't want to really go into. Let's have a look. So, where is the portal over there? How far? Oh, eight, okay. That's blocked away, so let's go back towards that. Because I've got so much inventory, I'm going to have to basically call it a day unless I can find my way. Oh, what have we got here? Oh. <laughs> Something painful. This must be. Oh, yes. We, 
we've done this one already, not interesting. Not interested in those, really. Is this water? Oh, indeed it is. Now, is it bad? Raspberry bush. Well, I suppose we could take a raspberry bush. We'll know where it is. That's just some ordinary roots. What I'll probably do between episodes is to go and find some roots. Not mess around in the episode to do that. This looks a bit dead. Twilight Lake, and then we're in dark forest. Oh yes, it's indeed it is dark. <laughs> Very dark. Twilight Lake. So this was the nag we found. What have we got down here? Let's have a look. Torch with some dead roots. Well, these are all dead roots, and none of these are green. It's a funny colour stone. What's that one? Purple, right? What mod's that from? Our oh, primal core. Primal core's got a lot of odd bits and pieces in it. Ah, look what I found! Some live root. Fantastic. Now, what do I need to do? The axe. Okay. One axe. I don't need the bone meal. I don't need the slime chunks. 47 slime balls. That's pretty good. So let's get this stuff up here. I presume I can, I can or excavate it, which I have done. How much did that give us? Six. So look at the uses of that. That will give us some raw iron wood. And that one we can then fire into our ironwood ingots. And then from the ironwood ingots, we, I guess we can make a seed. Indeed we can. So we only need four. And it's only a tier three seed too. And then we can make all the other bits and pieces. Fantastic. Okay, I think that it's time to go home. Well, I think that's two bits and pieces that I've actually completed. And we should be able to get to the... I think we'll go to the nether base. Wait a few seconds while we get back there. How much will make that ironwood stuff? I think we've got enough of everything. Good. One thing I haven't done yet is to transfer the other bits and pieces across, but as you can see, my inventory is an epic shader grab bag, which is fairly useless. All there for is decoration on the. Um, because whenever you kill a boss, you'll get something like that. It's decoration of one of the immersive engineering weapons, and the immersive engineering weapons are pretty useless. Some Sogoth flesh, is that got any uses of that? Oh, yes. Some stuff that we can't read, because it's Abelso Craft, and I've obviously got to make something to get that one round. Oh, I did forget to do something last time. I forgot to make the codex. For the ancient codex, and basically it's these ancient motive cores. We've got plenty of those, and I found some archaic bricks last time. It was 47 or something I got, and I think I've got those in one of these chests. That's come kind of like bricks. They look very similar, huh? Now where did I put those things? I wonder if I put it in here. It's easy enough to find out. <laughs> Just go along here, click it, and see what we get. Everything's missing. Okay, so I know I've got them. Now, where would I put them? So look. 
I might even have them on me actually. Tell you what I'll do. Rather than waste too much time, because I've got a lot of sorting out to do as you can see. I've picked up loads of stuff. And I've not been putting the stuff away properly either, because I'm it's uh, difficult when you're moving, as it were. <laughs> Finding a good place to put stuff. Ancient motive course, I think we're in here. I know I got them as a quest reward. Oh, I love it when you can't find stuff. Missed. I know I've got them somewhere anyway. Tell you what I'll do. I'll look, find them between episodes. I'm pretty sure I've got them around, but I don't remember where I put them. Ah! Well, there's one ancient motive core. And the bricks! Okay, bricks. Steel and guts. They can't be in there, otherwise it would have found them, wouldn't it? So. And now I've got them anyway. Let's make this ironwood stuff up and then call it a day, shall we? So let's go back for the live, for the live route. That's a quest, isn't it? So let's have a look at that quest first of all. Back. I think it's. Nope. Magical world. I thought it was. Um, other worlds. So, other worlds, we've done the, la uh, the Naga, so we can claim that chest if we've got space. Back, which then opens up Lich, Twilight Forest, and then Minish Room. Huh. So here we've got the Ironwood, which is a quest. So we've got to make one Ironwood ingot. So we need to make four of these, and we can then make a seed. So what's the use of this again? Okay, I think I've probably got enough to make four of these. Let's look, try again. <laughs> Recipe. Missing golden... Nuggets, well, we've got plenty of gold nuggets, just not there. Well, that'll make all five, all six. I don't know if they've got other uses of this one. Let's just double check it. If you've got no other uses, might as well just simply click them in and make all, all six. And then we can cook these, I think, the uses of that one. Is that the only thing we can do with it? I read something to give me two. Oh, interesting. An induction smelter, we can get three with some cinnabar or some rich slag. I've got both. A furnace. Actually, a furnace will give us two. And an ore crusher will get three, but I suspect we can't do anything with it. There's always this one. I've made that mistake before, so I'm not going to do it again. So let's. We only need four, so let's just put two in here. Yeah, indeed, it made four. So we've now completed the quest that, but this is unfortunately a tier four seed, so we need to make another seed. Okay, that won't be too, too difficult actually. So let's do that one, get a seed, we're bound to have a seed here. I just need to break this one here, I guess. Indeed, I've got a... I don't know where those baked potatoes come from. Right, two seeds, that's great can make that up and I think that's all we need I don't think we need anything else I can do that here so four prosperity shards in a cross should make a seed let's go and put uh, let's go and double click here get rid of anything we've got on us I think the seed should disappear anyway I've got a blue flower from somewhere is that a mystical flower? Might be a mystical flower. I'll put it in here for the time being. Like a mystical, yes, it indeed is a little mystical flower. So now, next thing. We need four inferior essence, four prudentium essence, and for intermediate essence. 
then we should be able to craft the seed up and exactly the same way starting each one of these a little cross i think is all we need yep second layer is prudentium that's tier two and then we have our tier three seed oh i need four more of those let's go and get that out so i forget you need half exactly eight right click and get half so we can then do a another cross of those and you got that right missed one bit and then we could drag this around here to give us an ironwood seed and then that will give us plenty of ironwood i guess let's have a look at let's have a look at the use of that one <laughs> well, that's not very good you can do that with a fluid transposer okay this is all we want the uses of that makes five ironwood ingots so from that we can actually we can even complete another quest can't we because I think there was an ironwood quest. Let's right click this. Two double compressed cobblestone. Fantastic reward. One of the best you can get. Good. Etch naga stone. So let's open up this last. Have I got that? Oh, I did open it up, didn't I? Did I finish that quest? I can claim this one back so what that means then we can make a set of ironwood armor which is just 24 ingots so that's not going to take very long at all we'll do that next time i'm not sure what the advantage of ironwood armor is you get feather falling one protection one and aqua affinity with us have i got to put that onto the thing i guess so so we got our bean reward our beans i think are in here Is there another one of those around? Well, I think there should be five beans, shouldn't there? Oh yeah, there's that wrong place. Still the wrong place, and here we go. Right. So that's it for this episode. And uh, oops, <laughs> thank you, thank you all for your tips again. They're very helpful. So I've got to find the questing ramp. We shall maybe I shall do a little bit of research into that, and then I will see you next time. Bye for now.